Hey there, this is Herc Magnus, and in today's video, I want to cover one of my favorite themes of all time, and it's quickly moving up that list. It's probably in my top two now, and that is Thrive Themes. I absolutely love it. The more I use it, the more features I find that are saving me money, saving me time, and it's completely transforming the way I'm doing business. So what I wanna do today is basically show you the features of Thrive Themes that I'm using in my business, how they work, how they look, and then you can decide for yourself if that's something that you think will work for your business. Personally, right now, I think Thrive Themes is a great and cheaper replacement for something like ClickFunnels, which I believe is $97 a month, and Thrive Themes is a lot cheaper than that. So let's go over to my desktop and I'll show you how I'm using Thrive Themes in my business. So here we are on the homepage of Supremacy Digital and this is the perfect spot um, to start showing you Thrive Themes because a lot of the stuff that's happening on the front end you get to see but you don't get to see it on the back end. So for instance in Supremacy Digital it's a, obviously a free marketing platform that people can join but as you can see if um, we click on any of the buttons things start popping up and people can join for free. Not this but that's RoboForm. But this this box right here that pops up looking really nice, you can see it's joining uh, the eight week local coaching course or we're joining the rank and rent method. And you can see as I'm clicking on different courses that um, I'd like to join, different boxes are popping up. You also see we have a form here that looks very similar. And then even down on the very bottom, we have another banner where I can click on it and it pops up. So those are all driven by a plugin um, as part of Thrive Themes package called Thrive Leads. And I'm absolutely in love with Thrive Leads. And here's why. So here we are in the back end of Supremacy Digital. And let me go down to the Thrive dashboard. And one of the things that I'm going to do is show you how you basically set it up first so that everything's easy for you once it's all done. So I'm going to just go to my Thrive dashboard. And you can see there's a few options here. But if I scroll down to the bottom, this is where you first set everything up through API connections. And this is what's gonna make everything so easy. So if I go into my manage connections, you'll see I have a couple active ones already there. So we have Aweber, we have GoToWebinar, um, uh, we have MailerLite, which is another autoresponder like Aweber. We have an SMTP service um, that has a high deliverability so that WordPress transactional emails are going through our SMTP. And we even have our WordPress account. Now I can add other connections, but those are the only ones I need. But as you can see, Thrive integrates with an absolute ton of other services, API connections. So the nice thing about this is you can activate multiple a API connections and then even have a single form connect to multiple API connections. So let's go give you an example of that. So here we are inside of the Thrive Lead section of my Thrive dashboard where you can see all the different forms that I've set up. So what I'm going to do is just quickly go into one of them. We'll go into the main embedded form that I use on Supremacy Digital homepage and I'll show you how the APIs have become super useful to me. So I'm going to go into the edit designer um, portion of this. and. Once it loads, what I'll show you is on the left side here, you can see a column and what you'll do to activate anything in the left column is just click on a function where you can see the little blue box showing you different elements that you want to edit. So I've clicked on the subscribe box and here you can see under main options, I've actually connected to three different APIs um, so that when someone submits the form, the data is actually sent to all three services rather than having each person join one of those services one at a time. I can actually use Thrive Leads to sign them up to all three things. So in this case, when somebody signs up to Supremacy Digital, we want them on our Mailer Light autoresponder list. We want them signed up to our GoToWebinar. And we also want to create a WordPress user account. So from the editor, you can see there's other things that you can do depending on the element you have selected. You can see we can change anything about the design, the coloring, the layouts, the positions, the margins, absolutely everything. And it is a visual style editor. So as you're making changes, you will see the changes happening on the visual style editor. So the other thing to note is on the right side, if I wanted to add different or more elements to the design, I could do that. I just click on the plus box and you can see I have all these different elements that I can drag over to my current design. 
and then I would just simply click on it and you can see the left box changes so that we can change different design elements of this. So this is the um, Thrive Leads design editor and it's pretty awesome. And it takes a little while to get used to, but once you're used to it, it's it's very intuitive. It's actually quite good and they're updating it quite often. So let me go back into Thrive Leads and show you a couple more features here. One of the really, really nice things that I like is that we can see stats. So you can see I obviously have a lot of lead short codes in Thrive Boxes and I'll talk about the difference of those in a second. But for instance, in Thrive Boxes, you see I have about eight, seven different Thrive Boxes. And what I use those for is on the homepage, obviously you saw on Supremacy Digital that we have people can join by showing interest in certain courses. So I have them labeled appropriately. So for instance, we have the join SD banner, which was the banner at the bottom of the page. We have the eight weeks local coaching, the rank and rent coaching course, the Facebook ads, LinkedIn, and we also have messenger bot marketing. So what's happening there is basically I'm tracking what reason people are signing up to Supremacy Digital for on the home page. So if they're interested in a free course, I basically am able to see the conversions of those free courses. So right now I can see three people have joined as a result of the rank and rent method. Now the nice thing is I can actually, through the API, when they sign up from this form, put them on a specific or add a specific tag to that user that says this user joined with the rank and rent method. And then that way we can start segregating our audience. Now that's more a feature of MailerLite um, combined with Thrive Leads and your autoresponder may or may not have it, but with MailerLite you do. So it's a really, really nice way to absolutely gather information about the users that you have so you can market to them appropriately instead of sending the messages that they're not truly interested in. Now the difference between Lead Short Codes and Thrive Boxes, Lead Short Codes work and look a lot like Thrive Boxes, but basically when you build them, it'll be the same editor that you saw um, but when you want to implement them, it's as simple as copying the short code into the page so that you're actually embedding the form into your page and it's always visible. A Thrive Box is more of a two-step action where you saw me click a button and then the little lead generation form popped up and those are embedded into your WordPress content. So with the Supremacy Digital homepage, you saw me click on a button first that said access this course, then the Thrive Lead Thrive Leads box popped up. So it's a very versatile plugin. And then one more thing I can show you is the actual um, overall stats of things because Thrive Leads is, does give you reporting to your stats. So you can see here, I have um, the different users that are signing up, where they're signing up from and what lead group or short code they're actually signing up from. So I always have a lot of information to keep track of. So it's a super awesome way to do things. So if we go back into our Thrive Leads, there's another thing that I want to show you that we're using in our business um, now that is absolutely awesome and that's called Thrive Sign Up Segway, one click sign up links. So what this is, allows us to do in conjunction with our autoresponder is hook into the API through Thrive Leads and do things with one click options. So the old way we used to sign people up to webinars is we would provide them a link in an email to the registration page of a webinar, but that just kind of seems cumbersome. It's We already have their email, we already have their name, so we really shouldn't have to have them take another action that they've already previously taken. They've already subscribed, that's how we have their information. So why should they have to subscribe again? And sign up Segway, one click sign up links, solves that problem. So for instance, if I go into my settings here, I'll go to redirect settings. Okay, what uh, I can do, sorry, if I go into my setup, sorry, it's the service one. What I'm telling it to do is what action do I want it to take when someone clicks on a link? So for our go-to webinar, for instance, what we do is we say, sign them up to a specific webinar. So all I have to do is click on the edit button and you'll see it'll load the different webinars that we have inside of our go-to webinar account. And I can say, when someone clicks on my link, take their email and their name and sign them up to go to webinar. So it's a super simple way to do that. And then the nice thing about the redirect settings is 
you specify what happens after a successful action happens. So for instance, if you click on now, if you click on one of the emails that says register for the webinar, okay, you're automatically registered because of our API setting. And then I can redirect you to whatever page I want. And they take it a step further. They even do something called conditional redirects where it's based on a time of an action. So let's say we give them the event schedule and we say, what happens if they click on the register link before the webinar? Well, in that case, I can redirect them to one page. And then the next event would be what happens if they click on the link during the webinar, I can send them to a different page. And then the final one is what happens if they click on a link after the webinar has ended, I can even send them to a third page. Now I don't do that. What I do is create a thank you page and we always send people to the thank you page of the webinar webinar. And after the webinar is over, we redirect them to the replay page automatically. And the nice thing about that is even the people who are reading the original email saying come and register for the webinar if the rep webinar is already over when they if they click on that link that says register for the webinar it'll automatically take them to the replay page so we have absolute control over everything that is happening using sign up segue links also um, one more thing about Segway links is once again, you can connect to multiple services. So what we can do is add you to an email list, add a tag to a certain subscriber saying they've subscribed, add them to go to webinar. We can do multiple things just like we were able to do in the Thrive Leads. So it's a super awesome way to control your leads like that. So the next feature that I want to show you that we've recently added um, from Thrive is actually something called Thrive Comments. Now, I absolutely love this one. Thrive Comments basically takes over the default WordPress functions of commenting on your site. Comments inside of a membership portal like we have at Supremacy Digital help with engagement. It helps other users see what other people are saying, but we could do that with WordPress by default, but Thrive Comments actually just makes it so much more stylistic and so much better. So what I can do is I'll show you the back end first and then I'll show you examples on the front end. Um, here's where you basically set it all up and I'm not going to go through that, but you can absolutely control the look and elements of your uh, comments. And one thing I will show you is comment conversion. So when someone does leave a comment, there's a bunch of stuff you can do. You can send them a custom message just saying thank you for commenting. You can actually send them a social share. You can send them to another post. You can redirect them to a specific URL or you can even pop up an opt-in form. So once again, even with commenting, there's tons of stuff you can do after the fact and you can do um, choose what happens after a visitor returns with another comment. So there's all kinds of great commenting setups. And then for me as an admin, it's really nice because I can go to the comments moderation section and then I have a really nice display of all the comments and I can see if the comment is pending, unreplied, if it's needing my reply, I can approve comments, delete comments, edit comments, and I can do it all in a really nice and easy to use form. So now what I'll do is I'll take you over to the members area and show you what the front end looks like to the actual users. So here we are basically in the members area homepage. And if I scroll to the bottom, you can see seven comments. And these are different users making different comments. And you can see they support nested comments. They support voting, meaning people can upvote or downvote posts. And then as well as rate or not rate, but filter the post to show, do you want to see the newest post fold first, the oldest post first, or the top rated post first as a user, which is really, really nice. So there's just a quick way to organize through comments. You can also, subs we also allow users to, well, Thrive Leads also has the functionality built in to allow users to subscribe to comments so that if I reply or somebody else replies, they actually receive an email saying, your comment has been replied to so that way they can come back and read what the comment was and then if they want to reply they can and you can just see how nice um, everything looks so the commenting feature is something we just recently started using with thrive leads and it was another feature that as soon as i started using it it was i absolutely loved it it was super intuitive and finally while we're here you'll notice on the top we have a subscribe to supremacy digital instant notifications in messenger and this once again is another Thrive Leads feature um, called a ribbon. So we can actually make a ribbon pop up on a page and I'll show you another page where we do it. Um, on courses, if somebody accesses the courses page, we actually supply a different ribbon. You've seen it pop up there. 
and it has a different message saying, you know, we'll update you immediately when we add a new course if you subscribe to our messenger updates. So we're always creating different elements on a page that are relevant to the page um, with that ribbon. And that's another Thrive Leads feature that we're using now and we absolutely love it. The next one that I'll talk about is called Thrive Architects, but you already, uh, Thrive Architect, but you already kind of got a, a, a picture of it. And what Thrive Architect is, is it's the builder element for all the things. Now, Thrive Architect works with WordPress, whether you're using a Thrive theme or not. And it's interesting to note here right now that we actually use a VEDA theme to run Supremacy Digital. I'm just used to building with it. I actually like Aveda quite a bit. It's another one. It's actually in my top two. Um, Thrive and Aveda are, are the main two that I use. But I like certain features of Thrive Leads, but I also want to build my sites using Aveda just because I'm used to it. And the nice thing to note about that is that Thrive Leads, Thrive Themes, um, all the Thrive products integrate so well into WordPress. I can even use a different theme. I don't have to be using one of the specific Thrive themes to be able to get access to the functionality of Thrive Architect, which is the page builder and designer, even though I'm using a different WordPress theme, all the products with Thrive Leads and, and Thrive Architect and such still work perfectly well. So any page basically um, or product, like if I'm adding Thrive Leads, would go into the Thrive Builder. So the best way to really show it again is to go back into Thrive Leads and just take any lead form, okay, and then just go to Edit, and then once again, open it up. And this is loading what's called Thrive Architect, and Thrive Architect is the builder plugin for the design. Now, in this example, it's I'm only architecting or building or whatever the word architect, you know, in the, this usage means is I'm just being the architect for this particular lead. But with Thrive Themes, it doesn't have to be just about a particular element on a page. It also can be the entire page. So for instance, if I go to a page inside of Supremacy Digital, let's just use the, an example page here and I go to edit for the code, code builder, what you'll see in my scenario is that I'm actually using the, the Fusion Builder um, from Aveda theme to build my pages. You can see that. Now I'm not going to go through that. I can shoot a different video for Aveda, but I can also launch Thrive Architect as a page builder to add additional elements to the page. So when it loads, what you're going to see is it's going to load the content that I already have on the page using the Aveda builder, but it'll also allow me to add anything from the Thrive Builder that I want to add. So you can see it's loading all my original content as WordPress content. But if I do want to add anything with Thrive, I can go ahead and do that by just clicking and dragging things into there. And both elements will be re represented, the Aveda Builder and the Thrive elements that I'm building from the Thrive Architect Builder. So the, the last thing um, for this particular instance is the Thrive Themes. Now. If you want to use Thrive Themes to, to basically design your site, you'll still get access to the Thrive Builder. I'll show you an example of that. So what I'll do is close this page. And then let me go to a different tab and show you an example of a site that was built with one of the Thrive Themes. So here we are at a different site. This is my own personal site, Herc Magnus. And you can see there's a bunch of cool stuff going on the page. We've got nice wavy designs and my logo. And then we have um, animated buttons, countdown timers, um, testimonials. It's a simple landing page, but this is actually built with Thrive Themes. So if I go into Herc Magnus, um, you can actually see on the dashboard that I have a Thrive theme actually loaded. So let's go into my appearance and my themes. And for this particular site, I chose to use, I believe it's Focus um, Blog. This is actually a Thrive theme. And the advantage to using a Thrive theme when you're using things, um, the Thrive plugins, is they just, they work extremely well together, even though I've already said it works extremely well with Aveda. But this is a more streamlined approach where you're designing um, with a Thrive theme as well as have access to all the Thrive plugins. And one of the cool things about this is, once again, you, there's different little elements that I have on this page. 
So here you can see I'm reloaded. Now, if I go to leave the page to click onto the back button or the forward button or something, you can see we now have an exit intent pop up where I'm basically saying, you know, come and talk with me. And here I have people that want to talk with me head over to my Facebook page. I link them to my Facebook page and I use an animated button, which is another feature of Thrive Architect. Um, and if they say no thanks, it just closes this form. Now with this form, once again, you can build it and design it any way you want. You can see this is the design I've chosen for this site. But instead of creating a button that's a link, I could have added a form to say opt into my site. I could have done a lot of things. I could have, um, you know, connected multiple services and had it do multiple things. So it's completely flexible um, what I want to do with Thrive Architect, Thrive Lead, Leads, and Thrive Themes. So um, just to look at what my old site looked like before I started really getting good with Thrive Leads, you can see I have it here. This is my PBN uh, link rental page. Now, don't go and rent any links. I'm actually no longer offering this service, but you can see it's a pretty nice little page um, that was built completely with Thrive Themes, and this was before Thrive Architect even came around. Um, so it just gives you an idea of where Thrive Themes has been and where they are now. I designed this inside of the WordPress editor, but with Thrive Architect, it's even easier to create amazing looking pages like this. So some of the other features of uh, Thrive themes that I won't really go over, but you can see I'll go to my Thrive um, product manager and I'll just give you an idea of everything that you get when you buy Thrive themes. So Thrive themes is an all-inclusive product. You don't select like a la carte which things you want. When you buy a membership, you get access to everything. So these are the plugins that come with Thrive Leave, or sorry, with Thrive themes when you purchase it. You get Thrive Leads, which I went over. You get Clever Widgets, which basically allow you to control which widgets in the sidebar of your site in, on posts or pages are showing where. So if I want to show a widget on every page except for a single one, I can do that. Or if I want to show it on three pages, I can control absolutely everything about all my widgets. And when you install Clever Widgets, not only does it create widgets for you to use with Thrive Widgets, it also attaches itself to all your existing widgets so that you can even control those. It's really nice. Headline Optimizer app allows you to create a headline as a control and then different headlines to test different optimization elements of your page and it reports everything for you. Uh, Thrive Ultimatum is scarcity timers. Thrive Ovation is um, for gathering testimonials. I haven't used that. Thrive Quiz Builder allows you to build interactive quizzes on your site. I just started testing that out and it looks pretty cool so far. Thrive Apprentice allows you to create membership portals and um, courses that are locked um, unless someone pays to get in or creates a share gateway or anything. So you can use Thrive um, themes to create membership courses for um, for yourself if you want. Thrive Architect obviously is the builder that I showed you, Thrive Comments I showed you, and then Thrive Optimize is uh, allows you to split test your pages. So if you create a, an entire page you can actually create a second version of that page and with Thrive Optimize, it'll divide the traffic between the two different designs and tell you which one is converting better. So it's kind of like Headline Optimizer, but instead it's for an entire page. And when you have an entire page, you can actually change a single element of the page. So you can change a headline, a sub headline, a video, um, maybe one of the images, the colors, anything. You can test all those things one at a time, but on an entire page level. So that's basically split testing. So the widgets are absolutely amazing and they work extremely well once again, whether you're using a Thrive theme or not. But if you do want to use a Thrive theme, all these themes come with um, your Thrive themes purchase. Focus blog is what I'm using for my Herc Magnus site. And then there's also a bunch of different themes that you can use as well that have just like a basic different look. It's just a great starting point with a design on it that you can use. And then of course use Thrive Architect to make it look and act the uh, way you want. So those are basically some of the things that we're doing with Thrive Themes. And the last thing I'll show you is actually the Thrive Themes uh, membership pricing. I think it's extremely competitive. So they basically have um, annual or quarterly. There is no monthly plans. They advertise it as a monthly cost. But um, the cheapest way you can get Thrive Themes is to buy a Thrive membership on an annual plan and it's $19 a month, which means that to get this, you would pay $228 
per year and you can use it on 25 of your sites. And this is the membership that I have. You can also pay quarterly if you don't wanna pay that much up front and pay um, basically $90 every three months, which amounts to 360 a year versus 230 a year. So it's quite a savings to pay annually. And then if you're an agency and you wanna use this on your site as well as your client's sites, it's $70 a month quarterly or $49 a month annually. So I think it's an amazing, amazing price because even $228 a year is so much less than something like ClickFunnels where you're basically getting a lot of the same functionality, but you're paying $1,200 a year for it, and this is only $230 a year, and you can literally do almost all the same things that ClickFunnels does. So that's gonna be it for this video, guys. That's how we're using Thrive Themes inside of our business and why I'm loving it so much more. We would love to hear your feedback and your comments using the Thrive comments below this blog post and on this video and I will always respond to you guys. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you pick up uh, Thrive Themes, use it, enjoy it, and increase the efficiency in your business. So I will talk to you guys later.